up. Yo ho, what's going on? Alright, so the primary way that Fox needs to play this matchup, in my opinion, is to take control of the banana and force Diddy to open him into something. Because a lot of Diddy's neutral is based around the banana. Punishing jumps, punishing you leaving shield. The dash for banana is really, really strong in a lot of matchups, and Fox is no exception. However, Fox Sports one of the best matchups against Diddy, uh, just generally. Not not saying it's an advantage or anything, but because Fox has each other shield. The banana to up smash, really good confirmed by Kaken's taking that stock relatively early. Um, so the best thing for um, Fox in this matchup is that his short, um, short hop height allows him to pressure Diddy. Um, not so much with like aerials for most pop, but uh, also cancel back air. Um, just able to like you know jump in there to try and catch a banana and attack at the same time. A lot of characters are not able to do that. Um, it's a lot of the reason why characters like Mewtwo and Zerus struggle so much against Diddy. Their short hops are quite high, so they can't do like a jumping aerial out of box to try and catch and attack Diddy at the same time. Also because Diddy is so small. Um, so yeah, um, I want to see how Scuffle's going to end up playing here. Um, he is a bit behind, but he can, he can bring it back. He just needs one good confirm uh, just to take it out. Uh, Fox is not the strongest uh, for stealing out stocks, especially when his uh, Vortex frame traps don't really work too well. On space and everything. Uh, Scuffle will be punished. Oh, the forward smash with high rage. Just living that. I would have liked to see Kekun's... Oh, and I believe that was uh, Scuffle slipping out of it. Ha. Okay, back air catching on the platform. I think Kekun was a little bit um, unaware of how fast Fox could get there in that scenario. See, now, isn't it a pleasure to have, like, two top tiers on the stream instead of Falco and, like, you know, absolute garbage? <laughs> okay, see this kind of pressure we can see. Okay, so shield dashing in this matchup is a situation a uh, good or bad thing. If you can force Diddy to miss base fair, then dash really is pretty good. But a lot of time Diddy can um, just you know do empty combo into down tilt just to pressure on to, to shield him because down tilt same block. Or he can go for dash grab to try and stuff out because his dash grabs also very good. Or he can command grab. That was a very convincing two stop by Kaykins. Um, to me, it looked like Scarpa was pressing a lot. Low tier madness was such a fun event. Like, oh my god, we we, oh, we were crying. It was so funny. I, in the very first game, it was a uh, game of watch versus a duck hunt, and everyone was getting so hyped because this game of watch was so far behind. Just lands down throw nine and kills them at zero. It was amazing. Yeah, the theme meltdowns have gone down really well. I personally love them. I've entered all of them actually. The feet, all the theme meltdowns because it's just a good time. You know, you get to hang out, chill, a real laugh. Um, I did doubles with I hope for you at. Um, <laughs> At one of the meltdowns with items on. Uh, that was a bit interesting. So, uh, funny story. Uh, we was playing in winners finals. Um, I, what's call it? I landed um, Robin's final smash uh, against Zone, and it dropped. Like the move literally just dropped. Like it landed the first hit, it stunned him, and he just fell out. And I was so sorry. I think it was against you actually. Who was you teaming with for the, for the uh, meltdown doubles? Who was it? Ben, yeah, that was it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I landed Robin's final smash, it just dropped. So I was like, whatever, innit? And then, and then they got Kyogre. I was like, you know what, you know what? We're, we're, we're done, we're done. <laughs> Clouds, Cloud, I've, I've been moaning about this matchup for ages. No, 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 Diddy, Diddy, always Diddy. No, um, 
Well, so I'm notoriously known for hating Diddy in every way, shape, or form. This character's completely retarded. Um, there are definitely things that Scarpot could be doing better, though. Um, if there's a banana between him and Diddy, as I mentioned earlier, the short pike combined with like drift back there is able to pick it up and hit Diddy's shield at the same time. Um, that shield's situational, very, very situational. Smash up. You can't do that when Diddy has control over the banana. <laughs> Uh. So, Scarpa likes to start things off or start his neutral by doing a hop down and to attempt to apply pressure like that. Um, but the problem against Diddy is because he has like, you know, hitboxes for days, it's like, it's just an option that's going to continuously get stuck. It's not really something that he's going to be, you know, able to get all the time. It was a good attempt read by Scarfell there, uh, but uh, K can seek right for it and just monkey flipping off the side. Um, if there's a Diddy only meltdown, Cartarian, I would genuinely cut off my nuts. Um, I will never, ever, ever allow that to happen. Ever. Battlefield saving him there, I'm pretty sure. So you think he should be more close up? Yeah. Okay. So... So the hero of the side story of Europe, CRZ, um, seems to believe that Scarfot was giving up too much space here. Um, he's not applying enough pressure, and there's too many opportunities where he's allowing Diddy to regain neutral and get, regain the banana. Um, Scarfot's pressing a lot of buttons when Diddy is on the other side of him. So, for example, there, um, he tried to do backer because he thought k would go onto the platform, but k maintained stu has maintained too much control. Oh, and the up air. He drifted back down a bit too early. Just sitting out with the amount of rage and scuffle at a huge deficit right now. Too many buttons. Uh, too, just honestly like... Oh, oh not far enough. A, a lot of what I want to see Scarfot doing here in particular is taking control when Diddy's in a position like here, like off stage. So, Scarfot there was going for a trump and went. Okay, so, yeah, Scarfot Scarfot's falling behind really bad now. Um, he's very flustered. Uh, this is a big problem that Scarfot has in general. Whenever he falls behind, he generally struggles to keep up. If, Scar if um, Scarfot had managed to keep him off stage and had just kept him off with Nairs all the time, uh, by doing that and by being able to maintain advantage, it'll, it'll be really, really good. But instead, he keeps going to the ledge and all that. Okay, jab there wasn't too bad. Uh, if Zero decides to visit Sadie, I'll send him home. Like, not saying I'll beat him, I'll just send him home. I just, I don't, I don't need Diddy here. Diddy, Diddy's actually just not acceptable. Best buttons in the game, damn. Scarfell doing a really good job to come back in one perfect. It's not not showing that it's showing that he's not quite as fast as what he usually is. Okay, good. Oh, Scarfell messing up his vortex there. Oh, excellent job chilling Elm down. Scarfell doing a really good job to um, create opportunities and actually using the vortex really, really well against Diddy. Diddy falling quite fast. Um, shielding areas when they come down, you know, etc, etc. Just able to keep the Vortex going and getting a lot of damage. No Diddy is not fine. <laughs> um, something that CLZ has just pointed out is that Scarfell is very, very buttons heavy. Um, more, often, look, more often than not, he presses something. He presses it all the time. Scarfell's one of those players who, like, 
doesn't do well if the opponent like dash shields at him a lot because he constantly will miss face stuff and get punished for it. Oh, and the up smash catches him on the platform. That was a really good comeback by Scarfell, but two buttons heavy ended up getting him punished by the up smash. And that'll be 2 0 going over to Kaykens. Yeah, Poe's right. Um, uh, basically, whenever Scarfell gets up to someone, he will generally always press the button first. He will always pull the gun first. And I feel like that holds him back a lot as a player. Um, he's. He has actually ironed it out a little bit. Um, he's not quite as buttons heavy as he used to be before he didn't even have neutral. Uh, now he's generally, you know, doing a lot better. But as you can see, even the amount that he's still got in his